So what you see over here on the top is the header gadget. Yeah, th this is the header of this particular blog right here. If you want to go ahead and change around the header gadget, then what you can do is over here on the dashboard, you can go around onto the layout area. Once you go around over there, you can see that header is, um, uh, is displayed right here. So this is the header and this is the page header gadget. You can go around and edit this right here and turn the header off completely as well. So once you do that, what happens is that the header will simply uh, turn off as you can see right here. As with any other gadgets, you can turn it off. So once you enable, you can see that you can change around the blog title. For example, you can go around and then rename it to two, 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 for example. And over here, you can add in a blog description. For example, here it says, this is a blog that is created as an example page for YouTube uh, tutorial series for blogger. And I'm going to go around and say, this is an additional description. So if I were to go around and type this in and save it, then what happens is that it'll simply update it out right here. So as I refresh it, you can see that it updates out the information. Another thing that you can do with the header is you can see that you can go around and add in an image. So you can input an image URL or you can upload from your computer as you can see right here. So let me just upload from my computer and choose a file right here. Once I do that, I can go around and choose a file. Let's just go around and select the TTTube logo itself. And once it's uh, uploaded, you can see that it is uploaded right here. Then you have this image right here. Let me just go around and hit save. And once I do that, you can see that if I were to refresh it out, there is this background right here. So it does not look good. That is because the, uh, the image itself is white and the text is white. But you can go around and then choose like instead of title and description, if you want to display it, then you can do that as well. And you don't see the title and description at all, but you see only this image right here. So if you want to design out um, an, uh, uh, out a header and then keep that image right there, then you can do that as well and have the description placed after the image as well. So once you do that, what happens is that you get a different option right here. So you have the description after the image as you can see right here as well. So that is what you have and you can go around, change it out however you like and you can shrink to fit as well. So the image will be shrunk as you go around and select that out right here, but you don't really need to shrink out this image over here. So you can see that uh, I can go around and change it out right here. So uh, once I uploaded out an image, you can see that uh, it got converted into an image URL that uh, it says select an image by input image URL right here. And once you uploaded it, it did turn it into an image URL itself. So I can still go around and see, I choose out another uh, image as I like or I can go around and input out image URL as well. For example, if I were to go around and let's say, for example, replace this image URL with an image URL that I have right here. So let's just go around and then um, uh, just go around and add in an image URL right here. So let's just go around and then paste this out right here and image URL. And once I do that, you can see that the image loads up on the top right here as I type in the URL and you can go around and uh, just go uh, add in instead of title and de description, let's say for example, and then you have the new image over here, just like this as well. And that is how you can work around with the header gadget inside of Blogger. So I hope you guys learned something as always. And as always, please like, comment, share, and subscribe.